Hello, my name is Ray Results Roach and this is video 28. Have you ever evaluated your competition? It is really a question that most businesses should be able to answer. When was the last time you went on your competition? When was the last time you listed all the competition you have against your business? Have you actually gone down and listed them all? Have you gone to their website and seen what they promote or how they write what they do? Have you seen the testimonials they get? Have you seen what services they offer? Have you actually seen how they word their information? Because everything in business, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. The best way to run a business is find the most successful person in your area and duplicate what they're doing and then improve what they're doing. So it's not about copying, it's not about doing word for word everything they say, but it is about being smart. If, if you're in the industry for a couple of years and you have someone else been in the same business you're in for 25, 30 years, they're obviously doing something right. They've obviously built some sort of reputation. So the simple act of actually going in evaluating your competition is a smart way to do business. But I would take that one step further. I would find the best people in Australia that do what you do. Because regardless of the business, regardless of the industry in, there is people out there that are struggling in exactly the same business and there's people out there that are multi-millionaires doing exactly the same thing. And every single business can do that. I, I know cake makers, I've been online, I search, I research everything as I go through. There's cake makers making millions of dollars a year making cakes. And there's people, there's people making them from home that's struggling to make a hundred dollars a month. Exactly the same, they've just found a formula that works and they've duplicated it to such a way that they not only sell the, the, you sell the cakes, but then they sell the ingredients and they sell the how-to and then they, then they show other people how to do it. It just goes on and on and on and on. But another st the only thing stopping you is yourself. If you just want to, if you don't know how to run a business, you're never gonna, you're never gonna do it anyway. You're never gonna succeed. But when you know how to run a business, and you know what your business is all about. You've actually broken it down. You know how what your business does. You can actually break it down and inform the public about everything you actually do. So evaluating your competition lets you know where you sit in the industry. If you're struggling to find customers, I would I would go right now, I would stop this video and start Googling all my competition and actually see what they're currently doing. Go into and go and find out how are they advertising? What social media platforms are they using? What ads do you think might be working? You know, that's the idea of business. It's all about knowing you don't have to do everything yourself. A smart person doesn't. Find what's working and just copy it, not word for word. I, I keep stressing that because you don't want to play a game with the big boys because you'll get shot down. If someone did exactly the same as I'm doing, I could shoot them down in two seconds flat because I could show that I was first and the, what they're doing. So that's why you don't do word for word. But what I mean is how they actually structure their website. You can do it, but you put your own writing in. How they actually do their ads. What platforms? Oh, that platform. Oh, I can change that around a bit and do it on that way. That's what I mean by copying and duplicating. So... Get out there, get amongst and find out what your competition's doing because probably there's something right in front of your nose that you haven't seen that if you implement it into your business, you could dramatically improve your revenue. My name is Ray Roach and on the next video, I'm going to be talking about, oh, I love this one. I'm talking about competition. The next video is about a guy that just used to mow lawns. His name's Jim Penman. I'll tell you his story on the next video because how can a guy that mowed lawns become one of the most successful franchises in Australia? Thank you.